I would encourage almost anybody to take um, one of the courses in, whether it's facilitation or mediation or conflict resolution, those skills are transferable to anything you do in the world. So anything from family-related issues, I'll give you an example. Um, a friend of mine um, had a family that was pretty disconnected and somebody died in the family and they were going to have a funeral but no one, a bunch of people weren't talking to each other. And um, this friend of mine had, had t um, participated with me on restorative justice circles and so he decided to use those techniques, take a talking piece, have all the family sit in a circle and have each person share a story about the deceased. That, that they remembered. And it was a way for the group to communicate without fighting, without interrupting. So it can be used in a family, can be used with children, but just as importantly, everybody will have conflict in the workplace at some point. Uh, you can't be in the work world without having conflict. And to be able to know the specific techniques and skills it takes to get people to communicate to each other, to have people have a, feel safety that they're able to voice their concerns, um, and to be able to prevent the escalation that happens in so many other places. Um, if people want to be politics, involved in politics, there's a lot of need for that. So, you know, I, I, I laugh sometimes. It's the old expression, if, if you have a hammer, the whole world looks like a nail. Uh, to me, the whole world needs conflict resolution um, and techniques. And, and, you know, it is a profession. It takes specific skills. It doesn't just come naturally and, and people can do that naturally. You may have those basic skills, but you need the education piece to be able to be able to resolve major disputes. So I would encourage people, even if you have a chance just to take a, a short course in, in mediation or, or facilitation that you do that because I think you will find many, many ways to use it. Great.